my name is Adam Wilworth, and today we have a motor operated by a variable frequency drive that has common mode chokes installed. Now, some common mode choke manufacturers have claimed that with these chokes, you would not get any bearing damage in the motor. But as we can see on the screen, you get continuous bearing discharges, which are creating electrical discharge machining in the bearing race and can cause failure of the, bear of the motor's bearing. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to turn the motor off and install the Aegis ring. Move the probe out of the way. The motor to stop. All right, and slide the ring over the shaft and make sure it has even clearance all the way around as I tighten the screw. All right, the ring is properly installed, and now we're going to connect the probe back to the shaft and measure the shaft voltage, turn the motor on. And if you look at the screen now, you get no shaft voltage whatsoever. And the reason for that is that the voltage on the shaft, instead of discharging through the bearings like it was before, is going through the Aegis bearing protection ring and directly to ground through the motor's ground system. And by doing that, you're protecting the motor's bearings. So to conclude, you can see that even with a motor that's operated by a VFD that has common mode chokes, you still need the Aegis bearing protection ring to properly protect the motor from bearing discharges. For more information on bearing protection, please go to our website and download the Aegis Bearing Protection Handbook.